Good morning, Catherine. It's Monday, April 11th. Monday? Why is it Monday? It's Wednesday, April 11th. And I come to you from Land of VoiceOver since my camera has inexplicably stopped working. So while I'm here, you asked me what my question for the question of the week, what is any of my miracle, uh, miracle cures besides Pirelli's miracle elixir? Because, you know, that's what did the trick, sir. True, sir, true. But um, my miracle elixir, and I'm holding it right now, it is a small container of acai green tea. And it is the best stuff ever from the Republic of Tea. And, you know, green tea is ridiculously good for you. And same with acai because it's packed full of antioxidants. And so it always makes me, it always makes me feel better. But my other miracle cure is a small bar of white chocolate that I always keep in my drawer because whenever I get sick or I have a bad day or whatever happens, I decide that I need white chocolate. Oh, and there goes Jeremy texting me while I'm recording again. Well, uh, dearest Catherine, this video should definitely be easy to edit because I'll just be doing it as a little rambly one take because I honestly, uh, with my camera not working, there's no other way I can do this. So, uh, picture slideshow, picture slideshow, picture slideshow, picture slideshow. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so if you've never heard of one thing that I'm considering embarking on, uh, I've always wanted to do a 365 project, which is where you do one thing every day for 365 days, pretty much a year, unless you're on a leap year, in which you have to do 366. Sorry about that. But, um, and so I've been considering different ways and I mean I have a book that gives me all like a suggestion every day but I've been wondering about you know maybe doing something a bit differently because I've always been a bit different so I've been considering singing a Broadway song every day for a year oh not specifically Broadway but I mean it could be you know Disney or Broadway or from a well-known movie musical anything that works as long as I can sing it and I don't know, I always thought that this whole project would help me with my self-esteem and with, you know, my singing voice because I've always been kind of afraid about singing in front of people. So, you know, anonymously singing with my equipment in front of the internet would be a little easier because I wouldn't have my face attached to it. I didn't have to do any performance. But I encountered the problem that I'd need material, I'd need equipment. And alas, I have no money. But I have a job. So I have to wait for a little while before I can start it, if I even do it, so I can get the, enough money to buy some nice equipment to record with. So anyway, yeah, I'm just... Mm, verbal diarrhea. I don't know. I just... I mean, everybody has things that are hard to do. For me, it's hard singing in front of people because, well, I'm kind of a wuss. Surprise. But I don't know, it's just... It's just so hard for me to do. I mean, I, I love, I'd love to be front and center, but I don't know. I just make stupid decisions. Like uh, this year, our school musical was all shook up, as you know, and I saw it and I absolutely loved it. But I didn't try out because, you know, I was in my head before I was going to sign myself up for audition, I was like, okay, let's do this. And then I realized it was songs from Elvis. And I'm like, nobody can sing Elvis. And then I, hang out, I hung out with my friend Jason yesterday, and it was, it was just kind of, he was guilt-tripping me for a little bit about not trying out, cause I, and I felt terrible. And, uh, but I guess, uh, currently in musical theater, we're working for our showcase, which you have to attend, but our showcase, we're doing a, kind of an original piece, where we're taking songs from Disney and we're creating a plot line for them. So we're taking all our favorite songs, we're making our own plot line. So you have to come see this because it's going to be awesome and I might, have a, I might have my own little solo, I might have a lead part, although I doubt it. I don't know what I'll have, but uh, cross my fingers, wish me luck. So anyway, after that long and rambly episode, episode, this isn't even a part, but anyway, I'm encroaching on four and a half minutes. Catherine, I hope you're feeling better now because I know when I last sent you something on Facebook, you were feeling a bit better. Uh, again, I hope you're feeling better. I hope you have an excellent Wednesday and an excellent Thursday. I'll see you on Friday. Chick, chick, boom. DFTBA.